Hi guys and welcome to Ryan's Travels and welcome to the Cabana Bay Beach Resort here at Universal Orlando Resort. We've been staying here for almost two weeks now and uh, we've enjoyed our stay so far. So uh, join me on this little video. I'm going to give you a quick brief guided tour of the hotel to give you an idea of what it looks like and I'm going to also discuss some of the, uh, the pros and cons of staying here as well. So please join me and let's go inside and have a look around. So first up, this is the uh, the bus stop outside the main hotel. So this is where you're going to get uh, the buses that take you into the Universal Parks. So this is where you need to come, just round the corner from the main lobby. If you go that way, that takes you down the pathway down to the exclusive guest entrance into Volcano Bay. Just keep following these signs and you'll get into Volcano Bay down that way there. Walk all the way along the front along the length of the hotel and you'll see this here Volcano Bay guest entrance room key acquired required so and it's down here watch out for the little service road this is the exclusive resort guest entrance to Volcano Bay this hotel is kind of like going back into the 1950s the old classic American cars you see out here. They're really good. So as you get off your buses, your coaches and your taxis, the taxis will drop you here at the main lobby area. And we're going to go through the doors. Let's have a look. So this is the grand main lobby of Cabana Bay Hotel. This is the main check-in area. It does get quite busy here on late at night and especially weekends when people check in. This is a very busy area. It's quiet now though. Over there is uh, luggage help. The luggage desk. Through to the rear of the, the hotel. This is the older section. This is the, the, the bit that was first built. This is the section that was first built of the hotel. This is a slightly older section. And I'll show you the map of Cabana Bay. I'll show you where we are. So we've come out here. There's the main logo of Cabana Bay. This is the main circular turning area. That's where the bus stop is, we just saw. We've walked around here, and that's the main lobby area here. We've walked through there, and now we're here outside. And we've come through to this courtyard area where this swimming pool is and the water slide and you've got the three buildings here the starlight the thunderbird and the castaway we're actually staying on the thunderbird on the top floor here um, so when you select your hotel rooms online this is the exterior entry poolside view rooms so exterior entry because they're all the old-fashioned like um Kind of the old-fashioned American motel design that's what I'm trying to think of so they're all exterior entries so you'll get from the door of your room you'll go out onto a balcony if you want to have a quick walk across down into to the Universal Resorts so if you fancy a walk get yourself a room in this section here because it's quicker walk out here and that takes you to that takes you to a footbridge across the road and you can either get, get the water taxi from the Sapphire Falls Hotel just down here across the road or you can carry on walking into the Universal Park so that's a handy tip stay here if you want to walk it or you want to catch the water taxi once we've done this older section of the hotel we're going to walk back through and I'll show you the Bayliner Diner and then into the other side of the newest section of the hotel where you've got the Americana and the Continental buildings and these here, these are the interior entry rooms. When you're planning your holiday, when you go to select your room, if you want the interior rooms, this is where they will be. And then also, if you come down these corridors here, you come to the towers, the two towers down here, there's one tower there. 
and these are where the volcano view rooms are okay so if you're getting when you're planning your holiday you want a volcano bay view room area this is where they'll be either this tower here or that tower there so you can either come out the main lobby walk along here down that way down to the towers and then into volcano bay the guest entrance down that way so now i'm going to show you around this pool area here which is just this here so this is the main pool in the courtyard area of uh, Cabana Bay. And as you can see, there's uh, like a fake diving board area. That's not real, but there is a slide. There is a slide that you can use. And this is the courtyard area of the, uh, the Starlight Rip building. We've got the um, Thunderbird building right behind me. And then we've also got the Castaway building right behind me as well. You've got a nice little um, sandy area here where you can play table tennis and a ping pong and a few other games that's quite good there's a um, little rack here where you can pick up little life jackets for people if you need to use them it's only a small water slide but it's still nice still quite a good one This is, a, I think, in my opinion, a, a better pool because it gets all the sun and there's no wind or breeze. There's an area here where you can pick up clean towels for you to use. It's a nice little chill out area over here. And this is the Atomic Grill Cafe. You can get um, some drinks, some beverages, different snacks. Let's see what snacks they got at the Atomic Grill. You can get Donna kebabs here, it looks like, and pizza, sandwiches, salads. Oh, you've got a good choice. Okay, so we're back in the main lobby. As I said before, this is where the uh, the bar is that opens at night time. And over here, by the in the lobby, next to the main entrance, you've got a vacation planning centre. So this is where you can buy um, and purchase park tickets, express tickets, that kind of thing. Over here we've got the Universal Gift Shop. I'll just have you just show you quickly in here. You can pick up all sorts of gifts and souvenirs. You can also, if you're in the park and you buy something, you can have it sent to this shop so you can collect it later on. See? Their own Cabana Bay merchandise. I'm going to come out here, walk along this main corridor. You've got some stairs that go upstairs and they go up to the, um, the bowling alley. I'll show you that in a minute. So Cabana Bay has its own Starbucks coffee cafe. This gets really busy first thing in the morning. You've got to get here early to get a uh, place in the queue. Eight or nine o'clock, this place is heaving because everyone comes here before they head into the parks, you see. But these, um, these are really nice, these the cakes and the croissants and the, the donuts and that kind of thing. So it's got its own Starbucks restaurant. At the moment, in October, they got this special photo opportunity, which we did the other night, and I'll show you. So we've got the steps. And this is where they have their own Galaxy Bowl bowling alley. We haven't tried this yet. We actually uh, haven't been in here at all. But yeah, Cabana Bay has its own bowling alley. Where you go to get your shoes. And there you are, look. I haven't been to many hotels that actually has their own bowling alley. It's pretty good, doesn't it? Wow. If you come down here, it's got its own gym. I won't go in and bother people, but as you can see there, it's got a massive gym, hasn't it? There's loads of equipment in there. Really big gym. Absolutely huge. Got loads of running machines. Some workout machines there. 
goes all the way to the back there. Massive. But I don't know the sort of people that want to um, come on holiday and want to go and use the gym. It's kind of defeating the object to me, really, to be honest. <laughs> I don't know why you want to come on holiday and go to the gym. I, you know, you, you should come and relax and enjoy yourself. <laughs> but anyway, if, it, if you like that kind of thing, that's your cup of tea. So then, heading back down here past the bowling alley, and there's an arcade just up ahead. Arcade room. Have a quick look inside, shall we? Wow, got everything here. Absolutely everything. Look at that. This hotel is huge. It's got everything. <laughs> Look at that. Jurassic Park game. If you come down here, there's a special room and because um, it's October because they've got the Horror Nights on at the moment and they've got Stranger Things there's a unique photo opportunity you can do if you are a guest here at Cabana Bay you queue up down here and there is a special room just down there where you can go in and have your picture taken on the set of Stranger Things So we're going to head back downstairs now. There are lifts around the corner by the way, so don't worry. You can get upstairs by using an elevator or a lift. Got the restrooms down there. So here we have the Bayliner Diner here at Cabana Bay. Give you a little quick tour. So this is like a little shop area. You can pick up a basket if you want. Got some sweets and nuts. This is a good place if you want to get some morning pastries. Croissants and Danish pastries. You can get some nice sandwiches here. These tuna sandwiches are absolutely gorgeous by the way. These are really tasty tuna sandwiches. Just to let you know that. And these here, these are fantastic. You've got to get this chocolate cake with the strawberry on top. They are to die for. They are beautiful. Got to get them. And you've got three or four main restaurant areas. This is where you can get your burgers, your fries. That's where that is there. Yeah, so it changes from breakfast time to dinner time. So what time of day you come down, it might be different items on the menu. This is another one where you can get a, the roast of the day, carving station. You can get um, different options here. I'll just zoom in just to show you. The Asian stir fry, half roasted chicken, carving station. There's your sides. This is the other one from the grill. The Cabana Bay burger is really tasty. It's a massive burger, it's really filling. And get the caramelized onions and mushrooms with it when you order it. So get the Cabana Bay Burger, that is really tasty. And there's a side you can get. Getting different cues depending on what you want. This is the pizza and pasta counter. Down here. So you can order different pizzas. Pepperoni, cheese pizza, you can get spaghetti and meatballs. Get the pasta of the day. It's pretty good. This is a salad bar. And this is the delicatessen where you get your sandwiches, your wraps and your soups. You've got some cakes there. Cakes look lovely. Some more grab and go section. 
can get your cereals. And um, a nice tip for you is get one of these Cabana Bay cup holders because you can get refillable drinks for your length of your stay. So buy one of them and you save yourself money by getting free drinks the rest of your holiday. Limited free refill drinks. Some more snacks. Pringles. Some more cakes. Some bottled drinks here. That's the grab and go section. So once you've picked up your food and you've ordered it, you've picked up your food, then you've got to come over here and actually pay for it. So you've got to come over here and queue up and pay for it. And there, here is the main dining area. It's absolutely massive dining area. It's huge. It's where you get your condiments. Absolutely huge area. And it's all, all the deco and all the theme is all from like the old 1950s classic American cars, that kind of thing. These massive TV screens, they play all these old cartoons and all these old um, like videos from the 1950s and 60s. And that's the, um, the drinks refillable station. So you take your cup and you go, take your cup and you go refill your drinks from over there. Okay. All these old, all the theming here. <laughs> all right, let's go fill up my drink. Alright, now I get my coke, put it on there, alright, there we go, put the lid on, place cup on tray, place cup on tray, alright, so I've got my re refillable drink, got my coke, and let's go back. So a good tip for you, if you come here to Cabana Bay or any of the universal parks, get yourself one of these cups, okay? And if you pay for the length of your stay, so I paid, for example, I paid $30 or $32 or $36, something like that, about $30 for the whole two weeks, and I can come down and fill up this cup with any drink I want as many times as I want throughout the whole length of my stay. So it's refillable drinks, unlimited refillable drinks for the whole two weeks for $30. So it's worth doing, you save a lot of money in the long run because drinks are really expensive here, so. And we've come back to the Bayliner Diner. Now I know earlier we had um, a few problems and um, we had a few hiccups early this morning at breakfast and we didn't uh, think the service was very good. But this evening the service, the service has been a lot better and the food's been a lot better as well. So I've got to give them credit when they have done well. So well done Bayliner Diner for doing better this evening. Got some fries, got a nice uh, Cabana Bay burger, we've got an extra bit of coleslaw and um, they were good service and um, they served us well and they were a lot nicer. So well done. Cabana Bay. So now we're get, we've um, we've seen the diner. Now we're going to go down the steps and outside to the newest section of the hotel, out to the Continental Beachside area. They even do movies out on the lawn here late at night. Late night movies. Yeah, please join us by the pool to send it for a nightly movie. <laughs> Okay, so this is the Continental building here and the Americana building on the left here. And we're going to go out into the next pool area. So we come out into this like really sandy area. There's loads of sand out. This is like a fake beach area, beachside part of the hotel. So that's the Continental building there. So that's where the, all the interior rooms are. So there's the Americana. More interior rooms up there. 
plenty of seating and dining area. This is where you get your clean towels. This is the hideaway bar and grill where you can get some snacks and burgers. You can get some beers down there, some beverages, some nice cold drinks. Let's have a look what they got on the menu here. I don't know if you can see it. Got beef dogs, hot dogs, hot dog combo, tacos, chicken wrap, classic burger. Got some desserts, ice creams, chicken wings. Here's one of the tower buildings. So these are the rooms you'll get if you, if you, um, when you're planning your holiday, and you get a Volcano Bay View room area. That is where it will be in one of these towers here. Either that tower there, or there's another one just over there. And as you can see, the volcano is just there. Look. So. Location wise, Cabana Bay is very good if you want to go right into Volcano Bay because it's just literally a stone throw away. You could just walk next door straight into Volcano Bay Wall Park. It's that easy. This is why we selected this hotel because of the location. I think that's a little um, hot tub area. I'm not sure. A little little paddling pool area. I'm not sure what it is. Just show you here. Nice little area for the kids. Again, the main pool area. Got changing rooms here. And this is the main pool area. Actually, it's not that bad today. It's actually quite warm out here, which is really nice. So this is the main pool area. If you come in beachside, continental beachside. Down this way is where the Lazy River is. Cabana Bay has its own Lazy River. This is the Lazy River. So the Lazy River goes all the way around that area down there, around the trees, around the rocks, and it comes up, comes back around here. If you want to, you can get these, um, you can borrow these little life jackets just to take with you in the Lazy River. It saves you getting to, um, it saves you buying an inflatable because you have to buy the inflatables here and they inflate them for you. You can hire them or buy them, I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, you have to purchase the inflatables, but these are just as good. Just get, get your own life jacket for free and use it in the Lazy River. So I'm just gonna see if I can get into one of these um, Volcano Bay viewing towers its own game room over here so I'm in the tower it's got its own game room just in there so I'm going up in the tower now going up. so I've just come up to the 11th floor of one of the towers and I just wanted to show you what it's like inside these interior rooms and these volcano bay rooms I don't know if we'll get to see a view out of the window, I'm not sure. But I'll just give you a little quick glimpse of what it's like. Very quiet down here. But yeah, this is one, this is the corridor. So if you've got a Volcano Bay view room, this is where you'll be staying in one of these. So we have walked, so we have walked from here, all the way through there, out to here, back out, through there, down through there from past the Lazy River and now we're here. So as you can see the um, Volcano Bay is literally right there. That's the um, that big slide, I can't remember its name now. That's the one where you shoot up the side. So this is the Continental Building. This is where you come if you've got an interior room. Remember that, it's an interior room. This is where you will be. So we've walked the whole length of the hotel now, well almost, and uh, and here we are. So this has brought us out to the continental beachside area, back into the main diner area, the main lobby. So we've walked right around in a circle now, back here. 
Yeah, it's a lot busier than it was earlier. So now we're back out in the um, the courtyard area with the exterior entry building. See, they all have their own balcony. As you come out of your room, you're onto the balcony outside. It's like the old motel design here. So we're making our way down to the Thunderbird building. This is where we've been staying here for the uh, almost two weeks now. And uh, we're on the top floor of Thunderbird, just up there. That's that's where we're staying, right up there, in the middle. Yeah, one thing I just forgot as I walked past, they, they do have laundry rooms here at Cabana Bay. So if you want to come and do your laundry, it's in there. I don't know if you can see it, but that's the laundry in there. You've got washers and dryers. You've got soap in there as well. So I haven't got my key card with me, so I can't show you inside properly. But that's the laundry in there. Sorry about the wind, it's bit, gone a bit gloomy the weather now. It was nice and, and sunny earlier, but now it's uh, gone a bit windy. So we're staying up there in the Thunderbird. So if you want to take a nice walk into the parks, come out this end of the, the hotel, and go down there through those gates, and that'll take you across the road and down the road into the parks. Or that way will take you across the main road, over the footbridge, across the main road and then into the um, Sapphire Falls Hotel where you catch the water taxi into the parks. And I'll show you our location of our hotel as well as we go up in the lift. Alright, we're on the top floor. And so we're at the very rear of the Thunderbird building. So this is the far end of the hotel. And this is the exterior entry. Now this side of the hotel, um, these rooms do have a little bit more, well, a bit more quieter because you don't have the, the music from outside in the, the courtyard area. So it depends what you want. You can either have no view at all and better get a quieter room at the back here, overlooking the road, or you have a bit of a room, bit of a view over that side, but then you get noisy rooms. And Location-wise, you can see how close we are to the rides. That there, that's the Jurassic Park ride, right there. That's where you go in and you go down that massive drop. And, and next door, you've got King Kong. And just above it, I don't know if you can see it, but that is the Harry Potter castle. That's the tip of it there. So we're that close to the theme parks and that close to the rides. It's just the same, you have to walk all the way around just to get into it. There's Sapphire Falls over there, that's where you get your water taxi down to the parks over there. I did another um, video on the Aventura Hotel the other day, so I'll put in a link into that video. And I went right up to the top, that, that top floor up there, and had a little, little look around. So I'll put a little link into that video as well. If you want to see what it's like at the Aventura Hotel. Is going down into our room here, room 2418, here at the Thunderbird building at Cabana Bay. I'll give you a quick guided tour of our family room. Mum and Dad are just getting used to uh, finding where everything is. It abs looks absolutely amazing. Dad's doing his own little video. This is our little kitchen area. I've got in there, we've got a fridge. It's fantastic. I'll just shut the door. So this is a, a sofa bed. It pulls out into a bed. I'll show you a little bit later how it all works. Because I'll be sleeping on that one tonight. got a little kitchenette area into the bedroom we've got a sliding door look. 
if I can work it. <laughs> so we've got a sliding door. Oh, it's just a little bit stiff, that's all. <laughs> Dad's doing it. So we've got the sliding partition door in between the two rooms, which is great. We've got uh, two big double beds. So mum and dad are going to enjoy that tonight. Got their own TV in the room. Down here we have the ironing board and little walk-in closet, walk-in cloak room. Dad's doing his own little vlog. And here's the bathroom. It's fantastic. We're here at Cabana Bay. Yes. It's amazing here. We've got the bath here. So we've got a separate room for a bath and sink and shower. It looks really good. And then you've got another sink here in the mirror and then the toilet in here. So it looks absolutely fantastic. It's definitely a great family suite, a fa nice family room. It is fantastic. And it's just ideal for three adults, or you can sleep up to six people actually, but um, it's ideal just for the three of us. Now, little um, pros and cons about staying at this hotel now. I thought I'd just give you, uh, just thought I'd give you some help and advice. Um, the hotel looks superb, it's very clean, it's very tidy, and the design of it all looks very good. Um, it does look a very nice hotel. Um, they've got a lovely lazy river pool, they've got two other massive pools here with the water slide, that was fantastic. And um, it's a huge hotel with lots of different things you can do here. There's a, got, it's, even, it's even got its own bowling alley. And one pro about the hotel, yeah, it's great for location, but only for universal stuff. You know, you're right next to Volcano Bay, literally walking distance. Um, you're right next to the theme parks and they have all these free transportation. So it's great location if you want to come to Universal and do Universal stuff. But you are isolated from everything else here in a way because yes, you can take taxis and Uber rides to other places like over to Disney World, which we've been doing each day but you are isolated here because you're stuck on universal property and they've got you and you have to pay their prices. But if you stay in one of the hotels on the International Drive, um, you know, you can get out and walk up and down the road and try all the different restaurants out. You know, you've got more independence to explore and to walk around and you can get good food, better food, for cheaper prices, in my opinion, cheaper to what it is here. There's pros and cons to everything. Another con is the noise here. If you're staying here in the courtyard area in one of the exterior entry rooms, either in Thunderbird, Starlight, or the Conta, no, sorry, the Castaway building, um, if you're staying in one of these rooms, it's very noisy outside because they play music, blaring music here from early in the morning till late at night. So from about nine o'clock in the morning till say 10 or 11 at night, they've got loads of loud music outside there. Just think of another con here. Um, we've been a bit unlucky with the, the service here. Um, the evening staff in the Bayliner Diner, they've been okay, they've been a lot nicer, but the breakfast um, team, the breakfast staff here, they had really poor service. Um, they were really like quite abrupt and rude with us at times. The breakfast, the breakfast food here isn't that great. I didn't like the breakfast here. It was mm. the little potatoes they give you. They're like always like overcooked and mm. cold mm. and rock hard. And you get tiny little portion of scrambled egg. Um, yeah, the breakfast food here isn't very good. If you want breakfast, go to Starbucks or go into the parks and get something better. Um, the evening food was a bit better. The burger was very nice. We'll give them that. Burger was very tasty. Another con with the Bayliner Diner is that um, I just don't like the way it's set up because the thing is you have to queue to order your food. So you have to queue to order your food. Then once you finally get it served onto your plate, you've got to carry it with your tray. So once you've picked up your items, you've picked up your food onto your tray, 
then you've got to go over to the till, over to the cashier. Yeah. So you've got to queue up again in order to pay for it. So whilst you're stood in that queue, with all those people, your food's getting cold on your tray. So that's that's something I don't like. Um, and then you've got to carry your food on your tray, with all your bits and pieces into the diner, or if you're taking it out back to your room. So that's another con. You see what I mean? Over here is the diner where you get different selections of food. You've got a little shop area and then you've got three stalls where you get like burgers or pizzas or um, a carvery, well it's not a carvery but a carving station but it's very small portions of food. That you, so you've got to queue up over there then they serve you the food, the amount they want to give you and then you've got to queue up over here to pay for it whilst your food's getting cold. <laughs> yeah, food wise, mm, yes and no. Some of it's okay, some of it isn't. So even though the hotel looks lovely, don't be fooled, it's not, not everything is great here. Another thing with the food and drink here is that um, it's very pricey with beer. Um, it's nearly $10 for a can of beer here, which is very expensive. Different rooms have got different good bits and bad bits, you know. Some of the drawers keep popping out, they don't stick in sometimes. You put the clothes in the drawers and the drawers don't close, they just pop out by themselves. So that's a bit funny. So that's everything from here from Cabana Bay. Thanks for watching. I hope this little video gave you some insight into what Cabana Bay is like. Like I said before, it is a nice hotel, don't get me wrong. It's, it looks lovely, it's in a very good location. So I hope this video has helped you out in any kind of way when planning your holiday and um, helping you to choose what room you want to go in and if you want to stay here at Cabana Bay. I'd just like to say please subscribe to my channel Ryan's Travels and um, thank you for watching and please stay tuned for the next video and the next vlog from our holiday here in Orlando, Florida. Thank you very much for watching. See you later. <music>